at all. When TJ goes around his back against the press, it's because it's a good move. And he's done it thousands of times. Okay, the next one is one of my favorites. I call it a backup dribble, where you come to the defender, you back up in your right hand for a dribble or two, and then you cross over. But be sure you're backing up. You're not turning your back to anybody. You're, if coach is standing here, you're coming to the coach. It's a backup, and then you go that way. Back to your I can 
tell who's a player and who isn't in this one drill. I'll explain it. They'll show it to you and then you do it. If we had cones, there'd be a cone here and there'd be a cone at the elbow. As imaginary defenders. Let's get some. Okay, put one free throw line extended at the elbow, free throw line extended and at the elbow. <coughs>
did a great job of spinning, and then he shot his power right up wide open. You want the guy to block the shot when you're wide open. This is square. Now, as a defender, I go up and he fouls me. So everything was good except you weren't square. Those are good moves. Okay, now, let's reverse it. This line is going to that basket. This line is going to this basket. Now, let's explain this. This is a much easier drill for right-handers. I gave you the hard one first. Because look what we're doing. We're starting with our left. We're making a move, and we're getting it into our strong hand now. You're going to find this is easier on this side. But again, don't go too fast, and make sure we're shooting the power way up square. Here we go.
catch him next year. And this guy goes into the lane on one of the pressing guys who's right there to take the charge. Instead of knocking him over, he spins, takes another dribble, and does a power layup. That's an unbelievably strong move for a big guy. Instead of running somebody over. If you can do that spin dribble, especially in traffic, that's a big move. Okay, now I want you to spread out so you're not next to anybody. After this, we're going to simple line. TJ and Zach were at a point guard academy last summer. Coach Fleming, who used to coach at McCulloch, did a very intense three days. And then TJ was also at uh, Ames, what, two weeks ago, where this guy worked with Mary Savon. And he's got, along with this beat film, he's got some neat ball handling things. Anything you can do to enhance your ball handling is going to make you a better player. So we'll start simple, we'll get a little more advanced. You're trying to do these things with your eyes on him, not the basketball. Okay, follow the leader.
straight and go someplace with two dribbles. You should be able to go from there to maybe in here for that shot. Okay? Two dribble jump shot after the fake. Ball. Read apart, Eric, jump shot. Thank you. 